Welcome back to the Resale Report. It's your host, Rico. And today we're going to cover weeks three and four of releases. Now, if you're a beginner looking to get into the resale game, this video is for you because I'm going to tell you where to get them, how to get them, and most importantly, if it's worth getting them, all right? So first, let's talk about the drops that happened last week. And if you've been following along, let's talk about all the drops that's passed since we last talked about this. So we had the neutral gray high OG 85 ones come out. Now consider yourself lucky if you got your hands on these. I definitely, definitely had to pull out my clown makeup for these because I took a big fat L. That would be cool if one of my subs hit on those. So if you hit, let me know in the comments if you got them. Me, I just missed them. I ran NSB, which is a bot. I had all my tabs open. I just flat out missed them. And honestly, that's gonna happen because there was rumored to only be 23,000 pairs. Also, we had whatever happened with the back door I mean, trophy room ones. Now, I ain't gonna lie, my hopes were up on these. I thought I was gonna get them, but however, as you know, whatever backdoor situation happened and made it to where it's basically virtually impossible to get these for retail. Now, people are honestly blaming Marcus Jordan because he's over trophy room. That's his branch of the Jordan brand. However, I blame the sneaker market, period. Because honestly, the hype around this shoe is the reason why it got backdoor so hard. Now, they did some type of weird little drawing to kind of save face. I'm not buying it. We already know what's going on. But if you got them, let me know in the comments. All right. Also, the Jordan 14 low clot came out. And as I predicted, resale isn't going just too crazy on those. However, if you did end up getting a pair of these, don't worry because these are going to be a good long term hold. At least that's my prediction and that's my belief. So hold on to those if you can. If not, you can make some quick lunch money on a quick flip. We also had the, st the Stussy Hirachis come out, all right? Now, the dark olive colorway came out, and I really slept on those, I'm not gonna lie. Now, honestly, I didn't think they would do much, but honestly, with the low retail of 120, I should have known that there would be some room for profit, as most of the time, Nike and Stussy together means profit. But we got another one coming in week three, so stay tuned for that. And last but not least, we had the Jordan 6 Carmine's drop. Now, there was a little controversy on the quality of these. Some people were saying that there was bleeding on the midsoles, causing it the midsoles to be pink. And I'm honestly, I'm not seeing too many reports of that now that the public's got their hands on them. However, they definitely have some decent and resale value and they're gonna be great hold but that's enough of that let's jump right into week three okay, so starting off wednesday the 17th we got the air jordan one zoom paris paris saint germain collab all right now honestly my first impression of this shoe is it's a really nice shoe all right really well crafted however i don't honestly see just a bunch of hype around this shoe now this is really cool i've never seen this glow in the dark this is a really nice shoe bro and Honestly, for that reason, I think these are going to be a great hold. Now, they resell for 140 bucks, and honestly, that's low for a high OG, all right? And that's what these look like. And that's honestly low for highs, and that's what these look like. These look like they're highs, so I'm definitely going to predict that these are going to be a hold. Now, as far as where to get these, we got them on Sneakers app for sure. I believe on the Paris St. Germain website, they're also going to drop these. And I even expect some of the hype stores to have them. I don't expect foot sites like Foot Locker, Champs, and things and places like that to carry these simply because I'm expecting these to be somewhat limited. So if you can get these, definitely get them, but I wouldn't just go all out for them because honestly, it's unclear to me what a shoe like this is gonna do. On one hand, it's really unique, but however, the sneaker market is weird because the because the Air Jordan 1 purist could also very much devalue this shoe because it's because it's not your typical Air Jordan 1. All right, also that same day, although I've seen these come out already, I have to report it because I still have it reported for Wednesday the 17th, and that's the all-star Jordan 1 mid carbon fiber, all right? Now, these retail at $130. Honestly, that's kind of high for some mids. Now, when I first seen this shoe, I'm not going to lie, I thought it was a really dope shoe, and I still do. However, there's nothing special about it, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. For that reason, I'm not going to really say that you're going to have super retail value on these. You can get them as personals if you like, but I just don't see them having crazy resale value. Now, since, like I said, I did see some come out, Jimmy Jazz, Shoe Palace, places like that. So definitely, definitely check those places out if you want this shoe. Thursday, February the 18th, we finally get those dunks that got delayed from last month. We finally get them on Thursday, all right? The Women's Dunk Low Coast coming in at $100. Then we got then we got 
the cobalt coming in at $100. And then we got the medium gray coming in at $100, all right? Once again, all of these retail at $100. And what I've said since the beginning of this series about dunks, because of that low retail and because the hype around all of them, they are always, always gonna be a must cop. Now, each and every size is gonna be profitable, so don't worry about it. I, of course, sneakers is gonna have them. I'm expecting hype stores like Kith, bodega places like that to have these as well and like most dunks they will be limited so definitely try all your different options as many tabs as you can to try to get these in any size it's also rumored that supreme is booting back up this thursday okay now like i said that's just rumored in the community i will provide information as that develops but for those of you who aren't hip supreme sort of does like a weekly drop throughout you know each season each year or whatever and that's just something to look out because supreme is extremely profitable once that starts unpacking then we're gonna i'm gonna get into my resale predictions on those as well also on thursday the 18th we have her we got the nike stussy hirachis coming out the desert oak colorway and they're coming in at 120 dollars all right now that's a pretty low retail and usually nike and stussy together means resale value however honestly the last pair of stussies didn't really do that good and as you see here as release date approaches the price on these just dropped and dropped and dropped so i still honestly would pick up one just just to experiment with because once again Stussy and Nike together usually means now they're going to come out on sneakers they're definitely going to come out on Stussy all right so definitely try both of those I'm going to assume that Nike's going to have the bigger stock though so definitely go for that and honestly you get if you like Stussy and you like Hirachis you have a good chance of copying these we're going to cap off a powerful week with the silver toe metallic silver Jordan 1s, okay? Now, you already know what I think of this shoe. I think we can all agree this is one of the hardest shoes of February so far. It is a women's shoe, though, so bigger sizes are going to control. So bigger sizes are going to be more profitable. Now, these are gonna be great holds and they're gonna be a good quick flip, all right? Get as many as you can if you can get multiple. Now, sneakers will have these. I'm gonna assume that foot sites will have these. This is the type of shoe that they will have and all the hype stores are gonna have. So, however, there's, I'm, there's rumored to be low stock on these, so definitely do your best to get them. However, with that many different places dropping them, that makes me believe that there's decent stock. So I think we, we all got a good chance of getting our hands on these. Saturday the 20, we got a Yeezy drop, all right? and me personally i love yeezys and we got the 700 v3 kyanite all right now these are definitely going to go crazy 700s go crazy 700 v3s definitely go crazy on the resale market they're going to retail at 200 which honestly is low for a yeezy and i'm expecting these to resell for at least 350 a pop so so please have put me on record saying that because i promise you that's going to be the case also on the 20th the 20th is a big day it looks like we got the kobe 6 pro tro all-star challenge red coming out man and for obvious reasons these are definitely going to be profitable all kobe's are now they're going to retail at about 190 dollars and while these aren't the bruce lee's or even the grinch kobe's they're still they're still going to be grails and so it goes without saying if you can get these definitely get them now i don't see them loaded in the sneakers app however i have a release date of the 20th so sneakers definitely sometimes put, puts certain shoes on at the last minute and i'm definitely expecting foot sites to have these also saturday Day the 20th we got the cool gray threes all right now you know how i feel about these you know how i feel about the cool gray colorway on all the retros just about all of them are legendary so i expect this to follow the same footsteps now a lot of people are sleeping on these so definitely sneak in this is a pretty clean shoe and it's a cool gray with a retail of 190 i'm expecting at least you can get 250 a pop especially local on these and if you hold them even more this, this shoe is going to be appreciated a little bit after the release now for week four i'm sure more will develop the closer we get to release date week four seems to be starting off a little dry all right so we said they're saying we have nothing all the way up to thursday the 25th all right that thursday is gonna jump off the dunk high football gray all right and honestly this is one of the shoes from that pack that got delayed as well this is once again a really nice shoe you already know how i feel about dunk these are definitely going to have some re resale value now these are coming out on sneakers i expect them to come out on skate shops and i do expect them to come out at the hype stores i don't really expect these i really don't expect these on foot sites also from that pack that got delayed 
and also comes out Thursday the 25th is the Dunk High Vast Gray, okay? Now, this to me is better than the last one and I feel like it's gonna have more resale value, okay? Now, here's a sign, here's a sign that stock is gonna be decent on these. These come out in little kids, these come out in big kids, all right? And what that tells me is that there's a lot of stock on these. And what also tells me there's a lot of stock on these is for the first time that I've personally seen, there's a dunk being released on foot sites. I just got an email from Foot Locker saying that, the, that they're gonna release these. So I'm definitely gonna go all in on these. You definitely should go all in on these. Then to wrap up what I think is gonna be the month, the Jordan 4 Top A Highs, okay? Now, I know I'm probably butchering that word. However, these definitely are gonna resell good. Now, they're very similar to one of the Travis Scott 4s. And for my beginners, let me leave you a little, what I'm gonna call a resale nugget, all right? Whenever you get a shoe that resembles a big colorway like like the Travis fours that I'm referencing or there's a pair there's a pair of smoke gray ones that kind of resemble that kind of resemble the Dior ones and so they're more coveted for that reason whenever that happens that shoe is definitely going to have more resale value that's just the way it works and so that's definitely going to be the case with this this is a nice Jordan 4 I'm definitely going after these for personal and resale they're going to be on sneakers they're gonna be on foot sites. They're gonna be all over the place, man. They're gonna be all over the place. So definitely do your best to get these. I expect these once again to sell out and honestly have a good resale of about $300. And with a, with a retail of $200, that's actually pretty good. So let me know in the comments what y'all think these are gonna do. Now, if you haven't seen it, I have a challenge where I'm selling. Now, if you haven't seen it, I have a challenge where I take $100 and I'm reselling my way up to $1,000. So if you haven't seen that, check it out right here. I love everybody out there. That wraps up this week's resale report. Let's attack this week. Let's get it, man.